हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिक्स फ्रॉम लास्ट लेक्चर वी आर डिस्कसिंग सम बेसिक ऑपरेशन ऑन सेट्स एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द ऑपरेशन ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ सेट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑपरेशन व्हिच इज यूनियन ऑफ सेट्स सो वी जस्ट रिकॉल व्हाट इज मीनिंग ऑफ यूनियन ऑफ सेट्स सो सपोज आई हैव टू सेट्स ए एंड बी देन the union of a and b is nothing but the set of all elements which are members of the set a or the members of the set b or both the union is denoted by this notation a union b so we can write symbolically a union b equal to those x which are either in a or in b so this is very easy operation to write down union of two sets you collect those members which are present in either a or b or in both so we consider one example suppose set a is having three elements 1 3 5 set b is also having three elements 1 2 and 3 so we write down union of these two sets so we first write down elements of a which are 1 3 and 5 elements of b are 1 so 1 is already there we have to write 2 3 is also there so this is the union of these two sets a and b there are some obvious properties uh, first property is commutative property union of two sets is commutative that is a union b and b union a both are same if we consider union of any set with empty set then we will get that set back similarly union of a set with itself is set itself and union operation satisfies associative property also so if we consider a union b and then union with c or if we first consider b union c and take union with a then these two are always same so we are not going for the proof of these properties they are very easy to prove so we ignore them now we consider one simple exercise related to this operation so that a is subset of b if and only if a union b equal to b where a and b are any sets for any sets a and b a is subset of b if and only if union of a and b is b set b so here uh, we have if and only if that means if this statement is correct this must hold and if this is true this must hold so we will first assume that this one is correct this one is given and we will try to prove this and then we will consider this as given statement and if this is satisfied we will show that this is also satisfied so first we assume that a is subset of b suppose that set a is a subset of set b and we want to prove that union of a and b is set b a union b equal to b so that means we want to show that these two sets are equal so we have to show that Uh, these two sets are subsets of each other now it is clear that b is subset of a union b clearly b is subset of a union b and we uh, have to prove that a union b is subset of b so it is enough to show that a union b is subset of b so to prove that one set is subset of another set we start by taking arbitrary element in this set and we will prove that this element is also a member of this set so x belongs to a union b implies either x belongs to a or x belongs to b now if x is in b then we are done 
but if x is in a then then also x will be in b why because we have assumed that a is subset of b this is our assumption so if x is in a or x is in b x is going to be in b because a is a subset of b this is given so therefore if x is any member of a union b then x is present in b also therefore a union b is subset of b and we have b is subset of a union b so therefore both sets are subsets of each other so therefore a union b equal to b now we go in reverse way now we assume that a union b equal to b and uh, we prove that a is subset of b so conversely assume that a union b equal to b so to prove that a is subset of b so now we take any element in set a and we show that that element is present in b also so we start with x belongs to a and uh, if x is in a then x is in a union b by the definition of union or it is clear that a is subset of a union b but a union b is nothing but b so this implies x belongs to b because we have assumed that a union b equal to b so therefore every element of a is also an element of b so this shows that a is a subset of b so now we have shown that this both statements implies each other if a is subset of b a union b equal to b and if we a union b is b then a is subset of b so this uh, statement is proved this is true on both sides if and only if so this is all about this uh, union operation in the next lecture we will discuss some more basic operations in set theory i hope you like this thank you very